Holston Friesen or HF cattle. They are a breed of dairy cattle that originated in the Dutch provinces of North Holland and Friesland and Schleswig Holstein in northern Germany. They are known as the world's highest producing dairy animals today. Dutch and German breeders developed the breed with the goal of producing animals that could most efficiently use grass, the area's most abundant resource, as their food. Over the centuries, the result was a high-producing black-and-white dairy cow. The Holston Friesen is the most widespread cattle breed in the world. It is found in more than 150 countries today. With the growth of the New World, a demand for milk developed in North and South America and dairy breeders in those regions first imported their livestock from Netherlands. However, after 8,800 Friesens black pied German cows had been imported, Europe stopped exporting dairy animals due to disease problems. The purebred Holstein is exclusively a dairy breed and is primarily suited to large commercial operations today. Crossbred Holsteins are a little more versatile, however. When crossed with other dairy breeds, Holsteins can produce cows suitable for organic dairying. When crossed with beef breeds, they can produce steers for meat. The widespread availability of inexpensive steer calves also makes this breed an easy starting point for daft work. In general, Holstein cows are calm, agreeable animals. They are generally less intelligent than other dairy breeds and do not have the same instinct to forage or mother calves. On the other hand, they are harder to stress and much less likely to get into trouble. A few bloodlines may be somewhat hyperactive too. A Holstein bull is notoriously vicious and can be extremely dangerous. Steers of this breed are agreeable and easy to train, making them excellent daft animals for beginners. Holsteins have distinct markings, usually black and white or red and white in color, exhibiting a typical piebald pattern. On rare occasions, some have both black and red coloring with white. Red factor causes this unique coloring. Blue is also a known color. This color is produced by white hairs mixing with the black hairs giving the cow a bluish tint. This coloring is also called a blue rowan in some farm circles. They are farmed for their high dairy production averaging 22,530 pounds of milk per year. Of this milk, 858 pounds are butterfat and 719 pounds are protein. That's roughly 3.7% butterfat and 3.1% protein. A healthy calf weighs anywhere from 40 to 50 kilos or more at birth. A mature Holstein cow would weigh around 680 to 770 kilos and stands at 145 to 165 centimeters tall at the shoulders. Holstein heifers are usually bred by 11 to 14 months of age when they weigh 317 to 340 kilos or 55 percent of the adult weight. Generally, breeders plan for Holstein heifers to have the calf for the first time between 21 and 24 months of age and 80% of adult body weight. The gestation period is about 9.5 months. The HF cattle adapt to all management and utilization systems. They can be stable but are equally suitable for grazing. They can be kept on grassland or in mixed farming systems with biannual grazing or be stabled throughout the year. Neither does it matter whether they are kept on high-lying or low-lying areas. Not only are Holstein suitable for low-cost farming systems, they are also eminently suitable as dairy industry cows in intensive farming which requires the stabling of cows. HF cows possess an ability to convert feed into protein for human consumption to a degree that is unique. 25 to 35 kilos per day on an average. Top producing Holsteins can be milked twice a day and have been known to produce up to 30,805 kilos of milk in a year. A Holstein kept in perfectly sheltered environment is fairly vigorous. Remove it to a more challenging situation however and it may break down entirely. 
This is not a breed that can thrive without great deal of attention. It is prone to lameness, metabolic disorders and a host of other diseases. Holsteins compared to natural breeds are not as resistant to heat and diseases when in difficult agroecological areas. Their reaction to such conditions is a reduced production capacity. In these cases, crossbreeding with natural breeds is preferred. The calves show a higher heat tolerance and higher production figures are achieved than in the case of crossbreeding with other cultural breeds.